You guys have gone mad with power. I say this because in our last video, our top comment was from generic War Thunder YouTuber saying that they want us to use the ballistic knife against the Legion. So I guess that's what we're doing today. But technically, this is a repeat. I'm gonna let it slide this time around. But next time that we get a repeat in a top comment, I get to pick what we do. But if we do end up getting all the Easter eggs done, I'd be fine going back and doing these boss fights another time. I just kind of want to get this super Easter egg done and maybe a different weapon class because we already got special and melees done and we're making no progress towards Dark Aether. But before we get into it, if you guys want to leave any challenge, upgrade or weapon suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first that way we don't get any repeats now i'm gonna do a little bit of complaining here but i feel like it's justified so buckle up now first thing i just want to get off my chest is that uh we got no upgrades for this one so we're gonna have to suffer through get all the way to legion with a ballistic knife and we got nothing to show for it second of all i'm almost positive it is impossible to beat legion with a ballistic knife I've seen this attempted a few times. Uh, actually, when I was looking up uh, a sweet, a street sweeper build to fight Legion with, uh, I came across a video from Joltz, my teammate from uh, the Zombies Charity stream. And in his video, he was actually going to go test a ballistic knife, and that didn't do anything to Legion. So he ended up using the street sweeper instead and found out it was decent against like the orbs. And then also one of my friends, Philly Z, He's also done a video of getting the ballistic knife done or trying the ballistic knife against the Legion and it did absolutely nothing. So I'm going into this knowing this is going to do jack shit against the Legion, but we'll still attempt it. And also I have no levels on my ballistic knife right now because I'm assuming going through outbreak like this, I'm going to get a few amount of levels for this. And since I already know that it's not going to go too well for us, I figured we might as well just try to get some levels out of this, if anything. But now we have to go through arguably the worst part about setting up for Legion, and that's going through the first three rounds of Outbreak before we can even start up the Easter egg. And we're already down. This is awesome. Oh, but we actually got the event complete. Maybe should have upgraded it first with the little scrap that I had, but we're not here to think. We're here to kill. Oh, look at us. We already got a level. And speaking of progress for this weapon, there already isn't like a whole lot of things you got to do to get a special weapon or like a melee weapon gold viper in this game. I think it's literally only like 1500 kills. So I think we're going to knock all those out pretty fast here. And 30 levels isn't a whole lot in Cold War. I think the first 30 levels while, you know, getting a weapon leveled up goes by pretty fast, but it's like between 30 and like 56 or whatever is where it really starts to slow down. You need a whole lot of XP per level. So hopefully we'll actually be able to get this done within the time that we get up to Legion, but I I'm not getting my hopes up. Worst comes to worst, we might have to hop on like Forsaken or some sort of round based map to get the rest done. Worst part about this gun though, is that there's no dead shot with this. There's no hitting the left trigger to aim. I have to do all the aiming on my own. It's a little extra layer of difficulty added to this. From what I remember though, I think it used to be possible to take on Legion, or at least it was like theorized to be possible. Because there used to be like an insane amount of damage you could do with this, like against Orda and Firebase C. But I think this and the crossbow got nerfed into the ground because it was just too busted. But I guess we'll see when we get there. Maybe things have changed in the last two years, but I'm gonna go ahead and doubt it. Ooh, I'm disgusting. Okay, forget everything I said about aim. I'm actually nasty. I'm the new simple. I'm the simple of COD. Maybe simple minded. But when you ever seen a, a, a triple ballistic knife hit on an orb from a black chest event? Probably never. And we might never see it again. Get the fuck out of here, helicopter. I need all that scrap to upgrade this ballistic knife. Oh, don't you get out of range on me. Don't you get out of range on me. It's getting out of range on me and it's so low health. Please, bro. Oh, thank God. Now give me my loot. Thank you. Oh, and another death machine. They paid me back. And even if this can't do a whole lot against Legion, I know I can easily slap Orta with it. Actually, I don't know. Look how much, how little health it's doing to him. At least I can, uh take this time to farm some xp and kills off of the zombies he spawns in yeah this does like little to nothing that's kind of insane i didn't think it was this weak what about on his crit on the ordussi oh that's thirteen thousand or 1300 damn i'm gonna have to go pack a punch and come back to you order i'm not gonna lie might need a little bit of an upgrade for this guy maybe i'll take on uh, something a little easier first a little warm up to order oh that's way easier i wasn't trying the first time around order this time's for real. 
And we're still doing like the same damage, I think. Great. 337 damage. I can't imagine how much more this is gonna scale. What about the crit damage? 1300 still. And we're out of ammo, cool. Okay, well, Ordo might just go on living another day. Nah, you know I can't do that. He's at least getting the death machine. Does he even do enough to him? A little bit, He's doing a decent amount. And we're out of that, so uh, maybe Orda can get like uh, some sort of like degenerative disease and die slowly or something. Cause this ballistic knife's not doing it. Oh, and he's gonna go and heal. What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? I'm not healing. At least not on purpose. And he's healing again. Bastard. We might actually just have to leave Ordo alone, which is a crazy sentence coming from my mouth. Yeah, I think I'm spending too much time on this guy. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get to Legion. I'm not gonna let him have the, the victory of killing me. The satisfaction. It's not gonna happen. Later, bitch. Now we can actually go ahead and start this Easter egg. We gotta connect all these radios together and get them on the same frequency. You guys know the drill by now. What static do I need to change it to? All right, three. Now, stop me if I'm wrong. Does this kind of sound like diarrhea? Maxis is just transmitting herself shitting in the Dark Aether. I guess we'll do this one first. The one so dangerously close to this portal. Oh, we got it. It's always nice when you just have to move the amplifier of one station. Oh, got it there again in one turn. They're making this real easy on me. Oh, this one we're gonna actually have to work for. And I think we're good. All right, Maxis, what's going on? Still out in the field. You bet I'm still in the field. All right. I'll go take this to the beacon and we'll have a chat. All right, what you got to say, Maxis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go find Ravenoff in the field. Go get the dead drop. Find your sex tape. We get it. I'm going to the next area. I think we might be getting the same map order that we did last time we did Legion. Your ladder, I've done Legion so many times. I'm just memorizing this. I think I already know where the dead drop is. I don't even have to look it up. And if I'm right, it should be right here. Nope. It is a symbol monkey that dropped a symbol monkey, but not our dead drop. This is also not it. If I could hit it. Yeah, we get ammo from it. Is this it? Oh, it looks like it. Please hit it. Let's go. Give me that dead drop. All right, let's see what dirty little secrets Maxis and Rabinov are hiding. Damn, Maxis. Showing everything in these. And I didn't know Rabinov was hanging like this. Rabinov got a hog. Okay, now this is just foul. All right, now we got to go to Ruka. Oh, we got a ray gun out of this box? Don't mind if I do. Okay. And just before we head down into the missile silos, I'm gonna do this black chest event real quick. Just because we'll have the extra security of having the little ghost lost soul dude come out to save us when we're about to go down. I feel like that'd be pretty helpful for this. All right, now that that's taken care of, we should have a little bit of a safety net. Don't know how long that'll last for, but at least we won't have to burn our self revive right away. And now there's no way back. Time to head down. It would throw the West into chaos. It would end the Cold War. Whoa, that's why they call it that. Now watch the speed run of me getting all these steps in the silos done. I say while I'm wandering around trying to find the right place to go. Oh, here's the spot. Let's lift that lock down and go see what Rabinov's up to. And again, we're just going to stand here while Rabinov takes on like eight people at once. The dude's just kind of insane like that. Where is... Maxis. You know Maxis wasn't I'm coming. Here. And wait, hold on. If, if Maxis had direct communication to Rabinoff that whole time, why weren't they just talking over the radio? We could have just avoided the whole go to eight different regions, find a dead drop thing. But how come Rabinoff's the only dude that gets to fight these Omega guys besides like us shooting down helicopters? I'm thinking this is kind of how like MW3 zombies is going to be with like Omega dudes out on the map that we have to take out. Is there anywhere in particular you want to see destroyed? Let's just fuck up the ocean. Why don't we do that? The fish don't care. We can get some zombie fish. Find the launch keys. I will prep the missiles. You got it, Rabinoff. I am a little scared of the mimics in the middle here. I don't know if I'll be able to take them all out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack a punch this to three because I feel like that's going to be my little insurance policy. Actually, maybe we'll do this one first. That way we don't have to go through the middle yet. We'll just collect all of our little crystals here. We're going to need like, what, 30 of these? Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. So we're at a thousand kills. We need 500 more. And then we still need all of our pack a punch kills on top of that. And we're not even level 30 with it. 19 levels though, not bad especially since i haven't really been sitting here like grinding out the levels it's just been kind of happening all right let's see if we got enough of these so far so good let me just bounce a stun off of this only five more bounce another oh we need one more you this is fucking ridiculous where's this last crystal at oh right here why don't you come on down for me crystals oh wait it still says one remaining 
deposit it. There we go. Actually, it probably would have been smart to go through the middle here. I, well, maybe I don't need to pick it up yet. I can just leave it there. Just ready. No need to jump ahead. Because I know I'll probably die running with it through the middle with all those uh, mimics. Now, let's just try to clear out these mimics. Because it's going to be a bitch. Bought them all in. And there is fucking plenty of them. And let's try to run for our lives. Oh, this actually does one-shot them. And that's really good for getting our special elites done. And there's more mimics here than you'll see any elites on D Machina throughout like 150 rounds, which is absolutely crazy. This thing's actually like the mimic buster. This is the hard counter to mimics, as long as you got ammo for it. But if you don't, quick little Tesla storm, some melees, and we're doing fine. And before I forget to do it later, I am grabbing a death machine over this napalm. And since we're right here, we might as well take out the big mimic. Oh, this one's actually gonna be a two shot. Oh, maybe a three. There we go. That's one key. Now we can go ahead and grab our little Aether canister that we created. Give me that. We just got to go down these steps here and pop it. We actually are kind of speed running this right now. Now, where's that key at? It would really suck if we missed this. Got it. Look at this mangler over here spawn camping. You about to regret this bitch and now we just have the worst one left to do trapping our little uh aether monkey buddy into a little essence trap and our monkey buddy's actually right here so let's try to sneak up zombies can you please give me some space and i threw the trap let's see if he goes back there are you going to it oh we got him we got him immediately i'm actually making great time on this it kind of helps to do legion eight times in a month but the actual challenge of it is trying to get the trap off of the wall i always forget about picking it up when i'm placing it down let's see if i can grab it from right here i got it let's go okay that is why we grabbed our, our black chest event because i was about to go down right there off of nothing but just pure incompetence so good thing we didn't have to lose all of our perks that we weren't able to buy back and we might go down again no no I was just talking about how nice it was that we didn't have to go down right there. Now look at us. Throwing at the last possible second. As if this wasn't already hard enough. So let's try to figure out this order. I have seen people say that the lights on the little control center correspond to the order that you need to do to get these done. I've never been too good at learning things. Especially new things. So I guess we'll try this. Okay, so this is the right starting one. We start with A. Let's just try to do A, B, D. Abd. And so it's A, D, B. Adab. A little bit different from what we were thinking. Also a very annoying part of this Easter egg. All right, let's try this again. A. I think I ran the wrong way around in D. Adding a little bit of time to this. We got D. Now we just need to make it to B. Where is it? Where is it? Where's B? Okay, right through here. Let's not uh, mess this up. We only got 10 seconds. We messed it up. We went the wrong way. Oh, it's so close yet so far. Oh, if I had an extra second, if I wouldn't have messed up both of them, I, I could have gotten away with going the wrong way on one of them. All right, let's try this one more time. A, D, and B. We got it. Let's go, baby. Now, we should probably go make sure that we have everything we need. I definitely need more Semtexes. So let me grab those. We have our death machine that's full on ammo. Our ray guns fully pack a punch just in case this don't work. And I guess we'll just go try this out. And uh, this is just a preemptive I told you so. Just go ahead and spawn in, Legion. This shit's about to blow your mind. Look at this. 890 damage. That is it. We need to use this. So we can use the ray gun to bust them open. And then we can use our ballistic knife on the orbs that he drops. Little orbs that pop out. Yeah, go ahead and teleport, buddy. See how much that helps you. No. Okay, I'm st I'm not having these mimics do this again. They completely cocked me last time. But just look how little this does. It's so not even worth it to try shooting at them with this. Break open, please. Please, bro. There we go. All right, now let's see what the ballistic knife does against his orbs. Let's pop our frenzied. He has 1,500 against the orbs, which isn't, like, awful. But so many other things are better. And we didn't even break it. We'll have to try this again. Okay, let's just try to get our frenzy guard back. Except these zombies are kind of beating my ass right now. Especially when I have no armor. We're very close to a frenzy guard. Alright, we got it. So we got the all clear to, to break them. To bust them open. Let's see if we can do it. Please. There we go. Frenzy guard. Mimic, please, dude. You need to fuck off. 
this, is this even going to get one of these orbs busted? Nope. I know somebody out there is going to be like, well, I actually defeated Legion with the Ballistic Knife. It's not that difficult. You're probably just doing it wrong. What I got to say to that is fuck you. No, I'm not. This is just ass. And I'm almost positive, even if we had Ring of Fire, it'd only do like 100 more damage because of the nerf I talked about before. It is just not good against the Legion and other bosses. And we only got five minutes left to try to destroy at least one orb. There we go. Come on, please. Just one orb is all masking. Yeah, this definitely does not do enough damage fast enough. I'll still keep trying, though. I tried to warn you guys. This shit is not possible. You sent me on a suicide mission. A land from which I cannot return. For what? Your sick, twisted pleasure of seeing me suffer? You only got two minutes to launch. He finally broke again. Where's my ballistic knife, please? If only I was, like, seven foot tall, maybe I could melee it. Or what's Mason's canonical height like five six five eight we had no chance if we are shack maybe we could get this done you need to hurry i don't want to lose you yeah well maxis you better start planning my my arrangements i'm not coming back in nothing but a body bag maybe a bucket this is our last shot at it at getting one orb down come on dude don't be stingy just go ahead and die oh he's busted when did that happen i must have not been paying attention Either way, we're done. The Mimic just sealed it. Well, fuck. If this doesn't prove that the Ballistic Knife is ass, I don't know what does. Because this may be the hardest boss in the game, but it still does nothing to him. It didn't even do anything to just the, the Outbreak Orda, just the Roaming Orda. Right, this is our final stats, in case you're curious. But, glass half full, what did we get done? Almost all of our kills, just need 200 more. Uh, almost all of our distracted kills. Decent way there on the Pack-A-Punch. Vintage is done. Uh, it says our Fauna is locked, but we have like a lot of the camos unlocked, which is crazy. So we must have hit level 20 and then it just went down for some reason, which is cool. And we still need our kills rapidly and our consecutive kills without getting hit. So let's go ahead and hop in uh, Forsaken and try to get this done. All right, so I took a little bit of a break in between Legion and now and I went outside and I'm never doing that again because a bug either bit or stung me on the forehead so moral of the story is don't go outside but i said we're gonna get the rest of this done on forsaken but i think i want to test out a few uh weapon level grinding methods because i always hear people talking about oh just play forsaken go in the first room till like round 15 and quit out and do it again so right now i'm at almost level 20 level 19 and like I don't know, a little bit of like a nut hair left to go. So we'll see how much XP I can get in the Forsaken starting room. And then I might do this one, maybe two times. And then I think I'm going to try Onslaught with it. I know Onslaught's probably better for weapons that have like a, a faster fire rate than a Ballistic Knife. Because you can kind of just sit on U-Bahn with like a, a Ring of Fire and just grind out camos and levels. But we'll still try it out. I, I will go back and try Onslaught again once we get a, a weapon selected that is a little bit faster shooting than this. But I, I figured since we can't beat Legion with this, that it's li literally impossible, we might as well get something out of it and figure out a way to level up weapons. Because it's taking too damn long these days. And honestly, I think the Forsaken First Room is probably one of the worst places to level up weapons because... After every single round, I'm almost positive your XP rate goes down by a certain percentage when your round goes up. And on the Forsaken starting room, your round moves up immediately. Because rounds on here aren't based on you killing all the zombies. It's all just the amount you get. Right, I'm explaining this very poorly, but the rounds just keep going. So your first round like basically immediately ends on you getting into the map. So you start out with a lower XP rate than you would on any other map. You do get the zombies a lot faster, so I feel like it makes it seem like you're getting XP faster than you would on any other starting room. Because it's basically like a diet rampage inducer in here. But honestly, I don't think you get a whole lot. We just... Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I'll put my own dick in my mouth. We're already almost level 21. Maybe you guys have been onto something this whole time. But also, I think it'd be good to test this out with a weapon over level 30. I'll still be a hater on this method. Because I think any weapon level between 1 and 30 goes by super quick. After 30, it slows down dramatically. This would be like the best way to like level up and get camos though if it was the Halloween event. Because you just get those chalices, get pack-a-punch kills done. And we'd be chilling. We wouldn't have to leave the starting room. And we just have the, the rampage inducer light, like I was saying. 
without all the zombies being sprinters and doing like crazy amounts of damage. Where are we at now? Oh, almost level 22. Yeah, this is actually pretty fast. I'll, I'll admit when I'm wrong, it's pretty decent. Oh, there's level 22. Okay. So in 10 rounds, we got two levels, maybe one and a quarter since we were very close on one of them, but it did go up pretty fast. So I'll play the rest of this round out until we get to round 11 and then I'll quit out and then we'll go check on an onslaught. Oh, and there's our rotten camo. So we got a little something extra done here. We're all done with our 1500 kills. So we just need our pack a punch kills and then we need to unlock the rest of our camo challenges. And we hit round 11, so I'm out of here. Actually, if I quit out, do I lose my progress? I feel like the last few times I quit out of outbreak, I lost my levels. So these zombies are gonna have to do the killing for me. Go ahead and do it again. Come on, are you guys ignoring me? Oh, there we go. Sweet. And that only took 191 kills to get me two levels. That's honestly pretty good. And our final XP is looking like this. About like a third. I don't know. Don't ask me math. Let's try Onslaught. All right. Now we are on Onslaught. And I just showed you guys our starting XP. We'll see where we're at after a few waves. It does take a little bit more to get started at Onslaught. There's a lot less zombies than there would be on Forsaken starting room, but I think it really starts to ramp up once you like get into the groove of it. So let's see. I'll try to get up to like the same amount of kills. Uh, I'm going to see if we get to 191 kills in what level we're at with our ballistics. But the difference in this is that we actually get elites to take down. Oh shit. Or be taken down by. Dude is so angry. <laughs> He's just sitting there flexing, but this is a uh, pretty easy. At least the first one will be. What's our perk? Deadshot, the perfect perk for this. Would be cool if they gave me a chalice though, so I can get some pack a bunch of kills done. We got our second elite now. Oh, it's just you, a mangler. Ah! Okay, all right, all right. You're not just a mangler. You're a tough dude. And my armor just disappeared. Nice. You can die though. There's level 23. That's our first level up. Took us 57 kills. But I think the difference is for Onslaught, I think it stays the same XP rate regardless of what surge you're on, which is actually like a huge positive. And another Megaton. Give me a Chalice this time though. Go ahead. Draw me something cool. Oh wait, I think I just saw a Chalice. Where'd it go? Thank you. We get that armor too. And a Flamethrower. Actually, this combat bow is probably better. For all intents and purposes. Let's not go down, though. Onslaught definitely more difficult than Forsaken's first room. We're at a whopping 146 kills. And we're almost at level 24. These seem to be about even. Differences in this one is we're actually getting more camos for other things. And we can scale with it. Yeah, there's level 24. And here's me going down. So this is probably at the point where if you have like a fast fire rate gun in Ring of Fire, that would be pretty nice. Oh, and we're at 225 kills, so I should probably stop the experiment here. We went a little overboard, but we made it almost two and a half levels. I don't know. Seems kind of decent. I think I might just finish out the grind in here because I already got pack a punch. I don't want to end the game, go to something else and uh, try to reset up. But they seem pretty similar. I think if you can survive longer, Onslaught's probably good. But if you just need a few more levels, maybe just hop into Forsaken. I still feel like we don't know the exact best method for getting XP. So I might have to go and deep dive on this on another video. Oh, this might be a nice spot right here. If I climb up this, they won't climb it and they'll walk around. And then if I jump down, they'll go back around trying to get me. This is the new elite grinding spot right here. It's actually kind of mindless. I just had to shoot. Oh, they actually fell down and chased me this way. Okay, maybe it's not as elite as I thought. Uh-oh. Well, I got slapped to death with one zombie left. Actually, if I can take one out, I can end the, the whole surge and then tombstone myself but they're all running out of sight yeah i ain't hitting that okay oh i surged and it ended anyways let's go they just kind of gave that to me all right well back to the grind oh no what the hell was that all the zombies were piled up underneath me that has not happened yet here okay all right now we're actually dead no, we're not, because I'm the greatest. I wasn't even scared for a second. Oh, and we're all done with our pack-a-punch kills. I think we just need 20 kills without getting hit, and we're good. I don't know if this is the mode for this, though. Maybe I'll actually have to train for this camo. Actually, we're not even a high enough level to do our jackrabbits yet. And that's all she wrote? Nope, Jug is insane. I've had so many close calls this game already. And I'm down again, right back up though. I'm the greatest. 
And I actually died this time. Got through 10 waves or 10 elites, 31 surges, 1,158 kills, but I went down five times. And I still don't think we made it all the way to level 30. Yeah, level 29 on a nut here. But we have every camo done except for our decoy kills okay so let's just hop back on forsaken get some decoy kills and then get our jackrabbit kills done oh there's level 30 we've been looking for and it's definitely way easier to get jackrabbits on forsaken there's so much more room to train and these zombies are way slower but of course as i'm talking about how easy it is i get slapped there's our banish camo and is that gold viper nope oh is that it our final jackrabbit i got a lot of xp oh there it is there's golden viper we're finally done with this all right zombies go ahead i'm all yours take me out and that is our final stats for our final game with the ballistic knife and just in case you're curious this is what the ballistic knife looks like with plague diamond because this is the only fucking class that we can do apparently we've only been doing melees and specials basically nothing else but what did we learn today we learned that the ballistic knife sucks cock against a legion we learned that forsaken is actually kind of good for levels same with onslaught and that you're not supposed to go outside because bugs will bite you thanks for coming to my ted talk i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for all your love and support and uh goodbye